Hey everyone, welcome to Shiner's new episode 2024. Hope everybody is doing good. Come on into the podcast because I want to share with you a download that I've received. Thank you for being here at the One Success Mindset where we discuss the topics of things that we go through and how we're handling them. Because, you know, to be a shiner means that you are going through some challenges and you're facing them head on. You're not allowing things to challenge you and to put you in a box that you can't get out of. So welcome. I'm Dr. Darina Shine, and I'm so grateful that you're here with me today. So have to get something to drink. You guys know how I do. (laughs) So, you know, a download came to me last night when I was meditating and it particularly said to me, you know, when someone tries to defame your character, when you've done all that you can do to help them, you know that they came into your life for a different agenda. You know, they came in to deplete your energy to downgrade your character, and to make you look like a fraud. That's fine. That's okay. When we recognize what it is, we recognize that they are specifically there to prevent you from doing something you're doing in your life. So they've already been watching what you do. They already know how you how you roll. They know their goal. They know their goal. And you know, the saddest part about a person who's being exposed by the most high, because God's respected is always protected. And see, our ancestors and our angels are sitting at the devil's table listening to the things that are being said about us and the very next thing that is supposed to be going on. They got the tea, y'all. They got the tea. So what they're doing is preparing and setting a table for you and your enemies are going to be your footstool. That's how beautiful this thing is going to become. So don't give up, shiners. Don't become paranoid. Don't become, you know, uh, emotional about it. Sit back and listen because the devil is in the details. So when you have a person that's constantly doing something to defame you, they want to tell other people things, and then you listen to them tell them what, tell these people what they tell them, and you know that there is their lies, you got them. They've been exposed. These liars, manipulators, narcissists have been exposed, and they get real pissed when they realize that you've exposed them, right? Because they're not even supposed to be around. And and that's the thing. God's respected will always be protected. And guess what? Right in the center of the chaos, God will just pull you up, (laughs) uproot you, and move you somewhere else so quick and fast, it'll make their heads swim because they won't have any leverage to get to you. So they try things with defamation, with smear campaigning, with um, bullying, and it just don't work. And when it don't work, you should see. It's like their energy is so pissed off Until it looked like a two-year-old having a tantrum in a grown person's body. So this is why it's important for us not to stay stuck and stagnant on alcohol, drugs, because it taints our image of what we're observing. And when we are in an elevated state that's outside of ourselves, then we see things differently. We become delusional. Now, again, delusional is not the same as insanity. 
when you're in sanity, you understand and you know exactly what's going on. But see, in this society, black is white and white is black. So what you have to do is decipher how you're going to look at the definition of insanity. Because one thing about going back, looking over hindsight and recognizing what is going on in order to embrace it, we have to say, why are these people saying this about me? For example, you could be doing what you do, okay? You could be working at the mall. You could be working at the grocery store. You could be working at Home Depot. You could be working at your establishment. And you hear someone say, after you've given them the best customer service that you know you are capable of giving, even when they were unreasonable, even when they were unrealistic, you gave them the benefit of all the doubt and they still say things about you in a defamatory way. They are a patsy and a pawn that was put in your life from your enemy. And then you think that something's wrong with you. Don't let them get away with that. Shiners, don't let them get away with that. Mm -mm. You know why? Because they know what they're doing. Many people will introduce themselves to you under false pretenses, thinking that you don't know what's going on. But here's the thing. The Most High didn't already told you to record it. Now, normally, you don't normally do this type of thing. But see, this is the 2024 is the year of exposing people for who and what they are, good, bad, or indifferent. And yes, we all have certain things that we need to work on. No one here is perfect. But it is not fair. And God's respect, it will be protected when these forces try to come up against us with defaming our good deeds and correct ways. And guess what? The demon will be shown, God's going to show the demon exactly what they're doing wrong to try to get them to see. But if they're outside of themselves, if they're in their ego, excuse me, if they're in their uh, trinity of collective narcissistic practice, they're not going to hear you. They're not going to understand you. No matter how loud you get with these people, no matter how many times you say the same thing over and over and over again, and you think they pissing you off because you know you know that you're okay. You know that you know you're in your conscious state. You're aware you're right in the physical reality of the moment. You're not under the influence. You're not mentally challenged. But these people will group up together and say the same thing about you. Oh, you're unprofessional. Well, see, if you've done all that you can do, it don't matter what they say. Let them say whatever they say because when it all boils down to it, you, them, and the doorpost, and your ancestors and their demons, and their um, directors, and all your enemies who hooked it up, made it look as though it was when it wasn't. They all know the truth. They all know the truth. And see, the reason the devil was in the detail is because the devil knows something. So now you're going to try to bring the devil into the situation because you don't know what's taking place within how we run our establishments, how we run our business. As long as we're doing what we need to do and people are being treated with dignity, respect, you just recognize this. And when you get so pissed off that you want to really go out there and do something stupid, you come 
to your safe haven and you immediately meditate. You take all access away. You limit access to you. When the access is limited, they ain't got nothing on you. So all they have is their comments. And yes, these words will piss you off. They will hurt you. They will, you will be like, wow. (laughs) But that's the exposure. And God is not exposing you to them. God is, God's respected is being protected. Because what happens is when you realize that a person is messing with your money, is messing with your family, is messing with your freedom, is messing with your employment, you got to cut them off immediately because they're the source. They may not be the primary source. They may not even be the secondary source. They're the freaking patsy. They're the slave. And they bought into something to try to get something. And the Most High has pulled you up out of it, set you safely. There's a song that I used to sing with a very, you know, talented Church of God in Christ, um, what was it, district choir. And it goes a little like this. The storms of life will grow. They're sure to come and go. They'll meet you all at a time when you're calm and doing fine. But the master of my soul is always on board. He rocks me in his arms while I'm riding through the storm sea. We have no fear of the raging sea because he is forever right here with me. You can speak to the winds and to the waves and he'll make them all behave. Though the tide becomes high, he'll hold me while I ride. I found safety in his arms while I'm riding through the storm. So that download hit that song when I was 18, 17, 16, and I was in that choir and we had to sing that song. That was important. And it was a download that was re-registered to me just now to let me know that there is no fear. You hold no fear. Shiners, we getting through this thing. We rocking in the shoes we walking in. And guess what? We got one success mindset, and that is to get it done. Whatever our journey is in this life that our Most High have given us, we got to perform. We have to fulfill the mission. Mm -hmm. We got to know the assignment. Because if you don't know the assignment, you will not be able to perform the beautiful things that life has to offer you in this world. So, so back to these people who, you know, defame your name and you catch them. Don't be, don't, once we recognize it. Oh, here's another thing. Yeah, I'm done stressing. See, I have ringtones like that. I protect my my phone even. When it comes down to me getting phone calls, energy drops. You can feel the energy of the person on the other side if you that in tune and discerned within yourself. So if you know you're under attack, then you got to put on your armor, right? So your armor is your mentality. Your armor is what you're going to do next. You got to be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 steps ahead 
of the person trying to catch up with you to the point where even when, you know, they use the planes, even when they use the ships, even when they use the, the drones, even when they use things that are uh, artificially intelligent, they still can't keep up. So the power within us is going to make this thing, sh make us shine to our greatest dimension. So I'm letting you know, I'm letting you know, all of this is good. All of this is good. Even when we sit back and we notice somebody lying on us and you sit back and you just look at this person and see another thing that a talker will do is put the details in there and let you know who sent them. And I don't care if it's officials. I don't care if it's haters. I don't care if it's um, legal. I don't care if it's uh, entrepreneurs. I don't care if it's your high school friend from 25 years ago that's still upset at you for something you did to them. You know, if there was a segment on Country Wayne, you know, Y'all go over to Country Wayne and, sh and check them out. Shout out to Country. Um, so it was about a guy who held resentment for another guy who he went to school with. And this guy was a football player. He was always, you know, Mike was always, you know, handsome. I mean, he a big old teddy bear now. But anyway, he liked the girl and Mike took the girl from him because he was more popular. Now, I had nothing to do with Mike's energy other than the fact that, I mean, unless, of course, Mike knew that they were getting together. But he promised that he didn't know that they were, get, that they were really together all like that. Um, it was one of those things, just like in high school. You know, the devil used them energies around you in high school big time to distract you and prevent you to do things that you should be doing at that time so you can keep excelling yourself. And then when you fall in love and when you meet the, the wrong person and you focus primarily on them, then you lose why you got here. Then you stuck in a 30, 40, 50, 60 year relationship all in hell just because. But all of that is for your good because when you recognize that it was hell and that it wasn't right, then you pull yourself out of it, you embrace yourself, you heal yourself, and then you excel that shit. Ain't, ain't nobody keeping you under no type of pre-sense of control at all. Now, so Mike goes and he dates the girl. Then he finds out that her and the boy was going together and they were undercover hiding it and or something like that. Well, the storyline ends where this man becomes a corrections officer and Mike gets into some type of trouble. OK, this trouble was not even his trouble. He just had he it was, again, his circle. So be mindful of the people you keep in your circle because you pay that karmic debt that they owe to. OK, so. Karma don't got no, you know, um, GPS tracker with a Wi-Fi system to where it can reboot itself. And while it's rebooting, some people get it and some people don't. Everybody get it. Everyone gets it. So anyway, he holds this resentment and this grudge for so long, I think maybe 20, 30 years. Mike gets put up into the system. And guess who is over all the, the staff? The war, the, the, he's not the warden, but he's over the you know corrections officers. He's the supervisor. This man who holds so much resentment and has no control of himself to the point where now this individual got to protect, got to do his job to protect and serve, or not protect and serve, but to make sure that these people receive the just, you know, to, to, to do their time equally, fairly, and justly. And the, the things that go on in that institution because of the hate that this man has for something that was done 30 years ago is a, is a prime example of how people will manis, manifest things into your life to get you caught up just so they can laugh at you and say, I told you so. That's why it's important to exceed what is being done. 
And when we know better, we do better. Thank God for the, the 12 steps of recovery, because those are the very things that make me go back to where I came from, what my experiences were. If we are aware and alive and really in tune with what is going on in our lives, we ain't got to do nothing but just be halfway right, three-fourths of the way right, because everybody is human, and people make mistakes, and people, you know, um, and people do things that, you know, they just do, okay? But what I'm saying here is I don't care if there is a group of mafia members. I don't care if it's junior mafia members. I don't care if it's thug life. I don't care if it's bad boy. I don't care if it's murder ink. I don't care what it is. God's respected will always be protected. See, see, that's why they tell the story of Jesus Christ, but they don't tell the story of those who follow their ancestors' discernment. They don't tell the story of the ones who beat the system because they were just trying to do what was right. And that system was already corrupt anyway. They're not telling the story of those people who have served, you know, a commitment of trying to find out and figure out how to get their lives back together and had all kind of manner of evil, wickedness, deceitful lies just to get a paycheck. Just for people to get a paycheck, they become the slave to the system. That's why I say no more. It, it is being exposed. It is all being exposed. The criminal justice system is not to give justice to a criminal that deserves what it needs. It's restorative justice. It's restoring people into the concepts of understanding to, to build yourself from where you are and not look at yourself as a victim. I don't care. I don't care. And God's Respected will always be protected. So, so these enemies are going to start falling. No weapon formed is going to prosper. You believe that, Shiners. You believe that and you know that because you, you've, you've seen it too many times. You've seen it in your own household when you made it through the closest people to you that abandoned you, abused you, misused you, and got paid from the the employment of the devil just to see you fall and then you still came back up so you got it in you do not allow the battery of what the demonic forces wants for you to become something in your life that you don't need because let me tell you what's going to happen you go on that side you give up god ain't got nothing to do with that you be strong and forever faithful, regardless of what takes place in your life, regardless of how bad you uh, are supposed to be looking to these demons. Nah, that's just God exposing the demons. God is putting his protected in custody. Right there in the midst of the devil's den. Just to see who's genuinely behind the corruption who's generally behind the deception and if you don't have no fear and you just go in there and recognize what it is and embrace it and observe it you ain't even got to tell nobody just you and your god you already know you already know and then exceed it exceed it that's the power of a shiner and a shiner is not a group or a cult or a, a, a selection of people. We don't have a chapter. We don't have a, a, a fraternity or, or whatever. We are just our individual selves with our higher power and our ancestors that walk with us through our conscious DNA. We are honored by the Most High. We are God's respected. 
So, so they don't know this yet, though, Shiners. They don't know this. So when they are confronted with it, the ones that call you unprofessional, especially those, pay attention to those who say, you're very unprofessional. You're unprofessional because in, in their world of sinister narcissism, control, um, manipulation, you're supposed to bow down to them. And the ego will have them thinking that that very thing. But this is the exposure that you're being protected from. Because when you recognize it, you're going to think like, damn, what's wrong with them people? Something ain't right. <laughs> and it's only because they've been employed by a, a, a demonic force that's laughing at their ass. That's literally saying, you know what? Wow. You thought you was going to go up against <laughs> You thought you were going to go up against them and win? I think they already put a disclaimer before they even told you how much you they were going to, the salary. They put in the disclaimer, your ass going to get beat down, not even in the physical. Your ass going to get whooped mentally, psychologically, intellectually. You're going to lose everything you got. You sure you want to play with this? Don't play with it. Don't play with it, baby. Baby, don't play with it. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So I had to get on to share that download because it was just a lot. I I also, and this is a trigger, so for those um, who may have, uh, who may want to leave the room right now, I do want to talk about a, t a topic of a dream that I had that downloaded and I found the information for um oh but let's go back to mike let's go back to mike and the dude so guess what mike gets out of prison because they found him found them not guilty or his brother did some type of shiesty behind the behind the scenes work that's why i say god will <laughs> if you're not wrong god will protect you <laughs> even if you got to use the very people that put you into the problem to get you out and, and they get their hands dirty, but you're going to still be okay. But anyway, it goes back to um, Mike. Mike gets out and come to find out. Mike was doing everybody in high school. So Mike, so the husband that works at the prison, who's over, who's the supervisor over the corrections officer that's been dogging Mike this whole time in prison, going emotional, okay, he ends up, realizing that his oldest son that he's taken care of for 18 years was not his, it was Mike's. <laughs> Everything that God has for the devil, jealousy, envy, God will plant one of his strongest warriors in the center of the fight, all hell breaking loose around everything, and God's respected is still protected. How you like that, Shiners? There is no other way. There is no other way but to try to do halfway right. Because when you use these spells and when you use these prayers to pray on people and they downfall, it's immediate karmic vibration and it's being returned to sender because guess what? You the only one. It's only you. It's only you. So for the manipulators who's listening, for the narcissists who's listening, for those who's listening to try to find out what I'm doing, here's what I want you to know. Go back to your demonic forces and tell them. Tell them we're safe. I don't think we want to play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it, baby. Don't play with it. Okay? Because... Because what's going to happen is don't get mad when you start to lose because you playing. Go fish. And God's respected is playing chess. Mind this. This is a, this is a collective emotion. This is a collective inf in, uh, informative download. Now, back to the dream. Back, and now, oh, let me tell you the rest of the, the storyline real quick for those who don't follow Country Wayne. 
So now he finds out Mike has is the father. They take the DNA test. And what happens? Now he wants to be a father, and he wants Mike to pay the physical. So in the process of him taking care of a son that he thought was his, he was taking care of his enemy's son. <laughs> he was taking care of his enemy's son and gave him everything. Took him to Disney World, took him to Disneyland, took him overseas, vacation trips, setting him up for college because he thought his name was on that. But... God's respected will always be protected. Mike didn't know from the very beginning that this girl, the ex-girlfriend, was um, still in a relationship with him in high school. That's why we got to let things go. We got to re recognize it, embrace it, and don't be, don't even be, expect the unexpected. Don't even be upset when we realize that we've been played by someone who has played us that we kept close. And then exceed it. Because guess what they're doing now, Shiners? They are putting life together to where he, he has to go over to the supervisor's house. For child um, visitation. For his son's visitation. So they're going to see more and more and more of each other. That's how God's respected will be able to go into his enemy's house, see his blood son, and his son still be taken care of. <laughs> no weapon. Y'all better, better get it right because 2024 ain't playing. It's coming back to bite y'all asses mentally. If you ain't even trying to do halfway right, there is no, there is no straddling the fence. It is you are succeeding or you are not succeeding. And you taking everybody down with you, including family members, including um, co-workers, preventing people's money, preventing people from shining. And they mind in their own business. Who are you to tell somebody that they can't go and enjoy a vacation with their family? Who are you to tell somebody that they got to have X amount of dollars in their bank account? Who are you to tell these rules where other people got to follow, but others don't? All that is coming home to roost in your own backyard. Mark it. Time stamp it. Put it down for today's um, episode. And if I had to title this episode, it would be sit back and look at how God is going to protect his respected in the midst of the hell that is furiating around them. So mad. You got dogs barking. Have you ever seen a dream? And I got to tell you about the dream. Um, have you ever seen a dream where you have a cyclone happening and you see the person in the dream and all these things is coming around them like flying houses, like barking dogs, like um, running lions, even Scar. Even Scar. But see, see, that's what happens when we don't recognize that our own family could be the very culprit to the demise of our character when there is jealousy involved. That's why we need to speak so much more on this concept of 2024 because it's all about getting exposed because we see it. The collective sees what the narcissist has been doing. See, we started in 2020 around the pandemic letting people know. That was the time to let you know, have clear vision, get your life right. There's going to be a different type of drug coming out. There's going to be a different type of alcohol that's coming out that's going to not be able to penetrate with the mindset of the, co of the collective that's really trying to do the right thing. It's going to stamper your ability to go beyond what it is you, you know you need to do, but you're okay with being stuck, but you don't want nobody else to move ahead, so you're going to try to pull them back. 
nah, first time, you fool me, shame on you, you did it wrong, because my most high protected and respected and pulled me up out of it. Second time, shame on me. So I'm really, really watching. I'm watching all the moves that the devil can make as a ex-manipulator, as an ex-narcissist, as an ex-control freak, okay? We all grow in this matrix. And it's up to us to continue to keep staying stuck in that mentality or pull ourselves up, okay? Yeah, so for those who call you unprofessional, know this, guess what? Guess what? They're saying you're unprofessional because you're supposed to bow down to them. How dare you be smarter than them? How dare you be more calculating than them? How dare you be so many steps ahead of them? They were supposed to get what they came to get because nobody has ever gotten away with not giving them what they bullied and demanded, except for you. So now you're standing up. You're trying to do more. You're trying to be more and have more. You're like, fuck you, nigga. I ain't giving nothing to you. You want it, come get it. You want it, come get it. How about that? You want it, come get it. But when you come get it, know that God's respected is protected. And that right there is where I want to leave this because I have embraced it. And when I'm done with these podcasts, I'm done. I've exceeded the emotion that I had, I let it go. <laughs> I gave somebody some hope and inspiration, and I'm still on the right side doing what I got to do. And then can't nobody stop it. Can't nobody stop this. Because I, there's been too many times where I've come so close to the enemy's opportunity to destroy and take me out, but boom, something happened. Boom, I'm out of there. Boom, I ain't even there. Boom, can't get it done. Because don't let nobody get that close to you to where somebody tries to know your every move, to where even a, a, a stalker ain't going to be able to follow everything you do. Because you're going to be able to see the stalker. If it's this, even if it's 10 or 15 people, even if they set up camp in little small corner spots it's just things are not gonna the pieces of the puzzle are not gonna plug in and you're gonna be like nah that something is wrong there so take that paranoia what you think is wrong and what you think makes sense plug it together and then watch them watch them it's trash day it's trash day so so now we have to say to this dream that I had, I had a dream where um, someone was giving birth and I thought it was me and I'm laying there or in this dream, I'm observing someone laying there and the birth process is over. I, birth has been given, but the umbilical cord has not been cut. Um, there is no pain. There is no there is no, um, you know, there's nothing but just, it's like a snapshot in a mindset, a snapshot. So what happens is I get up, the spirit says, go and look up what that means. Because it made no sense. Like, and it was all about new beginnings. It's all about taking the concept of what it is you know and helping yourself start a new journey, help yourself self uh, start a new process. Always have 10 to 12 different residual opportunities available to you and don't let everything be recognized immediately. You do things in silence, shiners, and when you do them in silence, your enemy can't devour it and they can't get to you. And there is no reason not even an accident. There's no, there's no reason. Rhyme. And I'm telling you, you are protected. You are not crazy. You are inside of sanity. 
And that's where you need to stay. Don't alter your your ability to make conscious, aware decisions through practices of sex, um, sex, uh, what is that, magic. Because somebody out here throwing sex magic on somebody and keeping them stuck. Somebody out here throwing financial spells on people and they keeping them stuck. Somebody throwing, playing with people's food and medicine, keeping them stuck. So you better know your camp. Know your camp. Just like Robert needed to know his camp. Know this. Thank you for being consistent. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for rocking in the shoes you're walking in. You got to keep it moving. You got to keep it moving. That was the strongest analogy that anyone could ever say. Keep moving. This too shall pass. And try to get over it. Just try to think about how you can exceed this. And it ain't got to be the use of grieving. You ain't got to use that as an excuse to do what you do, to act how you act, to be a fool. You can stand up and be an upright person and grieve as well and realize that energy never dies and it's never recreated. It's all the same. It's all the same. And when you recognize that, nobody, nothing can emotionally trigger and attack you unless you want it to, just so you can show the hell out. Peace. We'll see you next time.